Big 4 3 finally provides the details on how match XP is going to work and how they're completely revamping the challenge system as well. And to top it all off, we also got a roadmap for the playlists that are going to come in for the rest of the year. So if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So let's first jump in and talk about the good stuff with this update. The match XP beta and progression system is getting completely overhauled when it comes to this update for Halo Infinite. Here's a quick screen to kind of showcase exactly what we're kind of talking about here. But on the left side, is your match XP and depending on your performance in the game, the more XP you'll receive. And on the right side, you have your challenges, which are getting completely revamped. If you guys like these news and informational videos, make sure you tap that like button. It really helps out the channel against that all famous YouTube algorithm. And it also lets me know you want to see some more content like this, but let's get into those details. So for more information, match XP consists of match XP for completing the match, which we saw earlier, and additional XP for your performance in the match. This accounts for things like being on the winning team or end of match placements and more. As we we saw here for like completing the match 150 xp top 50 percent of the team you get 50 xp winning the match 50 xp mvp 50 xp as well they also talk about the revamped challenge system coming with the winter update saying here that this means that the system will transition to be match xp focused for your progression with challenges providing a bonus boost which is exactly how challenges should have been working in Halo Infinite in the first place. And key changes here is saying that they are reducing the number of challenges required to hit the weekly ultimate challenge from 20, which is right now, to 10, much more manageable for the weekly basis. Also stating that all challenges in regular weekly decks can be completed in any playlist saying that other challenges are more general overall. Referring back to this picture, you can see that kill enemy Spartans with a sidekick, kill enemy Spartans with assault rifle. That's pretty generic stuff. So long gone will be the days of having to get 10,000 score points in free for all alone. The important thing to point out for the event challenge is saying event challenges will remain in their current form tied to their respective event playlist but players can expect to see this change in the future as well. Now that the weekly ultimate awards are more obtainable, 343 says we're here that the winter updates ultimate rewards will feature the most popular ultimate rewards from season one and two to help get players another chance to earn them in case you miss them at any time. I actually really like this because there's been plenty of weekly challenges I've actually skipped on because I'm like, man, I don't feel like grinding these challenges. They're really grindy, honestly, and really kind of deterred me from actually enjoying my experience while playing the game. So this is going to be a great addition to, yeah, it's reusing content, but it's giving players the opportunity to possibly get these rewards that weren't really attainable for your casual audience. They also briefly touch on career progression. This is stuff outside of the battle pass, essentially. They kind of show that like, hey, you get a nice little shiny badge next to your name, saying that in addition to the improvements that we're we just recently talked about, the team is also continuing work on an overarching career progression system. And they do state that they have more to share about this in the future, but they wanted to plant a stake in the way as they wanted to fr phrase it to say like, yes, we are currently working on it right now, which will come in eventually uh, when we do get that information, when the career progression does get implemented or we have a time frame when it will see it. I'll let you guys know here on the channel. Now, what will you be playing for the winter update? Well, 343 actually provided a bit of a roadmap for us to go check out, guys. So there's going to be a significant change to the playlist and how they work in the winter update version of Halo Infinite. Uh, we covered this on my stream previously, but we basically stated here that they're going to be keeping a permanent list of modes. We're here, so we have Quick Play, Big Team Battle, Ranked Arena, Fiesta, Tactical Slayer, and Team Slayer will be like the core permanent playlist that will stay within Halo Infinite. I mean, unless like say Tactical Slayer becomes completely unpopular, which I doubt we'll see that ever happen, but they're going to be implementing a rotational playlist for a rotational core playlist. They say this is kind of more Mozart more in the line of what we typically expect for a Halo game, like say Team Doubles, Team Snipers. That's kind of core to the aspect of the gameplay, saying that Covert One Flag, that mode we've seen, that's like the Spies versus Mercs, you know, One Flag mode, that will be the new core rotational mode that when the, the Winter Update first comes into here. But we also have the rotational social mode, which is basically gonna be your more wacky modes, your more kind of like fun things to kind of play around like where they mentioned like social slayer big team social and rebel pit and that first week of the winter update will be social slayer for the social rotational river 3 also states that additionally once a playlist rotates out we would like to refresh its content with different map and mode combinations before it returns 
This will help give it a little, you know, a little bit of a facelift, I guess, anyway, when it comes to the mode, which I really appreciate that. We're also going to be introducing the rotational ranked slot as well. As you might have noticed with the permanent playlist, uh, ranked team doubles, ranked free throw, not going to be there anymore. But they say here that with the first ranked rotational mode, it's going to be ranked survivors, which is going to consist of ranked variants of attrition and elimination modes. And they say that right now our plan for the ranked rotationals will be live for two weeks before the slot shifts to another ranked offering. And 343 stated within this blog that they wanted to do the two week rotation because they've noticed that with these new plans that get implemented in, the first week it does well, second week not so much, and then the third week is pretty much like pretty low key. Key. So that's why they mentioned about the two week rotation. But they also stated here, which is really important, I want to like let you guys know about these ranked modes, is that your ranks will not reset when a playlist rotates out. So you're able to continue your progression the next time it comes back in. So that's gonna be very important. So then like you actually have a reason to really grind things out. And kind of like we mentioned earlier that the event playlist slot will be be the event playlist slot so they mentioned like things like the cyber showdown the yapping will still have its own playlist which does make sense 343 also provided us a roadmap for november and december when it comes to the playlist so for us to get an understanding of what to expect you can pause the screen right here to kind of understand what we're going to be seeing for the month of november and here is the month of December as well. You can see that ranked Lone Wolves will return on December 6th with the Winter Contingency 2 event starting on December 20th here. My biggest takeaway is that the match XP and the challenge changes are going to be really dramatically changing your experience while playing online. I've noticed that at least with a lot of pro players who certainly play Halo a lot more than I do, have issues struggling to progress through the battle pass because they just play like to play ranked, myself included. They also say that you should be getting through the battle pass faster with the match XP system with the challenges being a nice little bonus when it comes to playing the game. And this is only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the content and changes coming with the winter update guys. We have another blog talking about the sandbox update coming around this week as well. So if you guys want to catch that one, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Though according to a 343 dev, there's going to be some controversial changes to the sandbox. If you guys want to know what those changes are, check out this video right here. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.